My name is Mel, I'm Area Planning and Enforcement Officer for Waveney District Council. A typical day in the planning office is um, processing planning applications, assessing planning applications, going out on site visits to put site notices up, writing committee reports, appeal statements, dealing with the general public, any general inquiries that come in, emails, phone calls. I chose planning almost by mistake. Um, it was a throwaway comment by one of my tutors. The original idea was to be a conservation officer. Um, I did go to university late, I didn't go down the usual 18 year old route. Um, so there is scope for people out there if they're not entirely sure about what they want to do with their careers. Um, I didn't know until I was nearly 30 what I wanted to do. Um, and a trainee planning officer post opened up just as I graduated. Um, I have a degree in History and Landscape Archaeology um, and an MA in Town and Country Planning, which I needed to do because my first degree wasn't planning related. Um, and yeah, I've, I've gradually come up through the ranks from trainee planning officer to a planning assistant planning officer and now an area planning officer with my own patch. To be a successful planner, you need to be able to talk to people. Um, it is a very person-centred role. We get numerous phone calls every day, what's going on, why is this happening, um, my neighbour is doing something without permission, and you need to be able to drill down, find out the facts, um, you can either help them or you can't, um, and if you can't then you need to explain the reasons why. But you need to be a quite calm person as well. It's quite easy to get upset because people can be um, very angry um, and quite rude. But you need to be—you need to develop quite a thick skin and not take things personally because they're not actually necessarily having a go at you. They're—they're they're upset about the situation. Um, but yeah, being flexible, adaptable, um, helpful. The best thing about my role is the variety. No two days are ever the same. You can deal with listed buildings, conservation areas, simple things like replacement windows in a conservation area, a porch, a conservatory. Um, I've had numerous applications for very large agricultural buildings, industrial buildings, um, and everything in between. Anything that needs planning permission, um, or even not to a certain extent, we've, we get to deal with. If anybody wants to consider planning, I would encourage them, um, particularly girls. Um, we do have a lack of ladies at a senior, senior officer level, um, but just get involved. Just get involved in planning at a local level, what's going on in your area, what's going on in your town or village, have a look um, and contact the planning office. Um, come in and do some work experience, spend the day with the planning officer, go out on site and see what's, see what's done. Um, it's always come across, planning has always come across as a little bit of a boring career, but it's not, and we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that old style of um, perception. The perception of planning was always, always very boring, always um, very male-centred, and it's really not. We need more females. You need to be slightly artistic as well, um, have a interest in design um, and an interest in the environment what you know what is going on in the area um, it's actually a really really good career and i would encourage anybody to come into planning